Dr. Zakir, if you could explain what are the etiquettes of supplicating towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The person should remember that he should only ask from Allah and no one else. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatiha, chapter number one, verse number five, Iyaka na'abdu wa iyaka nasta'in. They alone we worship, they alone we ask for help. You should ask only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in Surah Ghafir, chapter number 40, verse number 60, you ask me and I will answer your prayer. You can ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything. Even if it be a small thing or a big thing, no problem. You can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything. And furthermore, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with humbleness and with humility. That's point number three. Point number four, when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should ask with confirmed hope that inshallah, Allah is going to answer our supplication. Number five, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with fear. We should ask with taqwa, fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number six, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with extreme longingness that inshallah we long this and he will answer our prayer. Besides these six points, there are some additional things which are important when a person supplicates. It's preferable, for example, a person should preferably be in wudu, in ablution. It's not a fard. He can even supplicate without being in wudu. But if he's like a person is in prayer, it's preferable that he's in wudu. Point number two, it's preferable that he's facing the Kaaba while supplicating, though it's not a fard. Point number three, he should repeat his supplication. It's preferable to repeat as much as possible. And point number four, he should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with single-mindedness and with longingness, as our beloved Prophet Muhammad said. It's mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi, Hadith number 3479, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that a person should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with single-mindedness. And inshallah, Allah will answer his prayers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like a person who asks with his heart when it is toying with trifle things. Heart is not in one place. So these are some of the tickets of a person supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.